Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Ooh. Now, hopefully, my channel don't get uh, shut down from this video. We're doing a video from Papa. Yeah. Have you had this before? No, I oh. haven't had this before. Oh, this is um Mexican dads. <laughs> hold on, let me hold on. Let's go down. This is Mexican dads try soul food for the first time, and I might get uh, demonetized from this music or buy this music. But it looks really good. Bacon, cheese, shrimp. Love all that. This looks appealing. This looks. Appetizing. It looks really good. It looks almost like a jambalaya type of thing, but it looks really good. It's got really good smell. The spices, I was looking, when you told me we're going to have soul food, I was like, okay, I'm looking forward to the smell. And as soon as this came up, I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, this is really flavorful. I really like this. Kind of like comfort food. Nice warm meal on a cold, chilly day. It's got the chile, it's got the spices, you know, that obviously Mexicanos love. Man, soul food has got me. I love it. It's really good. So got him. Tiene una textura como de arroz o papita molida el creep. El camarón está muy rico, está bien cocinado, eh. Está muy bien preparado. Los condimentos que tiene eso no tiene mal sabor, pero tiene buen sabor. Muy rico. La textura también muy sabrosa. Okay. Their spices. I mean, they they've got a really really good touch in their spices. Exactly what I was looking forward to. It's truly delicious stuff. I like the um, almost like Cajun seasoning that they that they use, or you know the mixture of whatever seasoning they use. It just gives you that little hint of spice, just just enough to be like, oh, that's good. Who was the first Black American to serve as president of the United States? Okay, why are they doing a trivia? Wait, wait I, I, actually, I want to hear this. I want to see if he gets it right. Let's 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 hear this. Who's the first Black American to serve as president in the United States? Oh, this is easy. Eights. Barack Obama. Final answer? Yeah. Final answer. Yeah, we're gonna go on. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, chicken and waffles. Chicken and what is that a uh soul food joint? I didn't I didn't know if you I didn't I didn't know that was a soul food thing. I thought it was well anyways. Yes. I went to Roscoe's in Long Beach. That waffle looked thin than a mug. A friend of mine, you know, who I work with, his name is Chloe. In black black guy we used to play basketball <laughs> together so we you know he took me to roscoe's and i always wanted to go there you know so of Chloe. course we've tried we ate chicken and waffles you know so it's kind of interesting co combination it's it's a really really good combination you know uh, at first i was like come on chickens chicken and waffles i mean how are you gonna have breakfast and and, and uh, fried chicken together but uh the combination works waffles he's good nice and warm I like the the breading on the outside, the thigh here. It's it's very soft and tender, and it's, it's really juicy, and it's it's a good combination. Some of the savory off. and sweet, or or kind of salty and sweet, and, and things like that. So this is a this is a good plate. This is a delicious plate. Yeah, I like it. Okay, primero, primero. That one is for you. Guapos, vamos a probar los guapos porque sí, a mí sí me gustan los guapos. Guapos está bien. Pollo para mí ya sabes. That skin's got a good, a good, really good flavor to it. And I like sweet, so we're gonna go like that. Are you gonna combine it like that? Okay. That combination entirely was a really, really good tasting. That'll um, put you to sleep. It's just an explosion in your mouth. Of just a bunch of good flavors. The grease, the waffle, perfect, perfect snack right now. What is the name of the black? Oh yeah, it's, yeah. I, when it comes to Mexican food, though, oh yeah, I like, I like Mexican food. I like um. What I like making, one of my favorite things to make is uh, nachos. And I don't make nachos with just the cheese. I make it like a taco salad. If you if you ever had a taco salad, the taco salad that I'm referring to is basically where you have the, <clears throat> you know, you have, I actually got this idea from what my old middle school back in the day, uh, we would have taco salad. There'll be the nachos at the, on the bottom, right? And then you have the meat. And then you have the cheese, the tomato, the the lettuce, and then you put whatever sauce you want, like the ranch, on top of it, and you mix it all up, and you eat it like nachos. But it's not just cheese, or like the or or the the liquidy cheese. No, the nachos that I'm talking about are like loaded. Not I, I mean, I guess you call it loaded nachos, but I don't call it that. I just I just call it 
nachos. Black American woman who refused to give up her seat on a segregated bus in Montgomery. Alabama. Um, that's that's Rosa Parks. Correct. Actually, I'm curious to see what that one with the thick accent said. Oh, they didn't even put him on there because he got it wrong. Let me see. Yeah, they didn't even put him on there because he got it wrong. I've never had oxtail, but I've always been in it. It smells like it smells. The Jamaican. That's the Jamaican dish. Oxtail and rice and peas. It smells like ribs, like you know. It smells like like. Uh, man, tortilla. hold on, I, I, man, oxtail, man. I've been trying to look for a good oxtail to the point where me and the wife went to Atlanta to try to get some oxtail. And we went there, and the place that was highly rated for Jamaican food, they didn't have oxtail because they were because they were making it, and it wasn't going to be done until like somewhere like 5 p.m. But we we're leaving earlier than that, and so I couldn't wait for it. Unfortunately, I really wanted it, but they didn't have it ready. I was so disappointed. I had to settle for another place that wasn't highly rated as them, and. I didn't really like their service when I went there, but I just got it because I wanted to get oxtail so bad. I said, hey, it can't be that bad. It wasn't really that bad. It just wasn't like, you know, I wasn't excited. The customer service was bad too. So, it, yeah. But anyway, let's get back to the video. He does that, that are, you know, my parents make and stuff like that, you know. Este, la, la colita de res, independientemente que está carísimo. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is expensive. Porque su suavidad está extremadamente sabrosa, o sea, rica. Si sabes prepararla en un caldo de res, olvídate, es te envenena. The, the appearance is, is, is really good. I'm, almost looks like a soft carnitas or, or something like that, um, based on what I'm seeing, the way it looks. No, oh, that rice is good. Uh, it's got a warm, salty flavor. Very kind of aromatic. First time trying oxtail. It was really good. The meat just came off the bone. Came off the it's bone. It's really flavorful. I don't know what they got in terms of the spices or things like that, but you it's don't know nothing. a very good combination. And this with rice or like beans would be, that's fantastic. Your oxtail, I know, I know, I know, uh, Ben, uh, Benny, you, you said you, uh, yeah, Benny said you don't like oxtail. I remember that last time because I mentioned it some, so, some time ago. Una buena falsa. Fabuloso. Wow. Even my so Mexican brothers are saying it's good. that texture of birria. I like this. This is really good. I love soul food, dude. Their spices, their flavor. I love soul food. <laughs> Auto insurance all seems the same until you love the soul food. Black eyed peas. I don't like black eyed peas a little bit at all. I, I've never tried black eyed peas. I mean, they like, like it, right? It look like it, right? I think when they're comiendo lentejas, pero estos frijoles los. It's not that it's nasty. I just don't like it. Res, en un cocido. Y le pones grano blanco, no sabes lo que te no sabes lo que te pierdes. And they taste like frijoles. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit of spice here, but that's good. That's really nice and warm, really warm, warm, com comfort food. You don't like you know? it. They they've got some good flavor, kind of vinegary. Not bad. Who is the yeah, Black American like like activist and leader? Oh, I gotta look at that one. Okay, what we got next? Collard greens. Fan of it the collard greens. What it looks like to me is kind of like like vegetables and greens and lettuce that has been there for a while and now it's kind of wilted and so. But I'm gonna try it with an open mind because I haven't had that, these in a in a very long time. I've had them once maybe. I liked them. It's been a while. I still don't like them. However, I like them better than the first couple of times that I tried them. And it kind of remind me of like Brussels sprouts. The the flair, a little bit of flavor of the Brussels sprouts or something like that. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. Otra gente le llama al selgas, muy rica. El ahumado está perfecto. El tallo, su cocido está en su punto. It's good. I don't know how they cook them, but whatever they did, I'm sure they cooked some meat or something and the juices of the meat oh, yeah. when the collard greens, I Mo think. Most definitely. cooked it with that, right? The meat it's flavor. The flavor. I yeah, you got to have it with the collard greens. The Okay, when is Juneteenth celebrated? June 19th. June 19th. I don't know how they know that. Anyway, um, let's go to the drink. Tiene sabor a té. Tiene sabor. What is that, sweet tea? Tío, para subir el azúcar a uno. Hold on, hold on. 
let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back because sweet, yeah, sweet. Some people sweet tea. Look, look. Some people sweet tea is very diabetical. Like if you drink it, you might catch diabetes after that session. I'm just saying. There's some sweet teas that's out there that's syrupy. You don't want to mess with that. We do not want to mess with that. If you don't want to get the, if you don't want to be forced to sleep, stay away from the sweet tea because that'll get you, that'll get your body working overtime and extra. You're going to go to, you're going to shut down. Your body is going to shut you down and there's nothing you could do about it. You could try your best techniques to help you stay up. Drink a whole cup of sweet tea of the most sweet, of the sugars, sugariest. Am I speaking English? Drink a cup of the most, of the sweetest. That's what I'm looking for. Of the sweetest sweet tea out there that's almost syrupy. You're either dying for sleep or catching diabetes or probably all of them. Let's go. Let's, let's, start, let's start the video. Let's see what they say about it. That's really good. Uh, it reminds me of like a perfect, like warm day, warm day playing outside. And then you, you come inside and, you know, and there's like iced tea in the, in the fridge and that just like hits the spot. Now it's growing adults. We probably, that'd be good with some vodka. <laughs> no tiene sabor a Look how you said that. Probably, that'd be good with some vodka. <laughs> no tiene sabor a te. Tiene sabor yeah. a dulce. Pero para subir el azúcar, hola, hola. no tiene sabor a te. Growing adults, we probably... Go with some vodka. <laughs> it doesn't taste like tea. It just tastes sweet. Yeah, that's the thing. It don't taste like tea. You just drinking sugar, man. You drinking sugar that's brown in 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 color of the drink. That's what it is. You should might as well use brown sugar in water. Tiene sabor a puro dulce. subir el azúcar to get the blood sugar up. Yeah, if you if anybody needs the blood sugar up. Take a sip of, of, of black people's sweet tea. That's all you need is a sip. Don't drink a gulp. Don't gulp it. Sip it. I'm telling you, the lowest blood sugar in the world is bringing is going to be brought back to life. That's a guarantee, man. Dip your tongue in there. You'll be brought back to life. Anyway, let's... Uh, uno está bien, para que no acelerado. <laughs> Perfect to get hyper. Some good tea. That's some really good tea. I like this. Not too sweet, just just right. Which state Are you sure? was the last to officially recognize Juneteenth as a state holiday? Mississippi. Okay, for some reason, it, it was the last one. My mother has oh, made candy uh, yams. Uh, sweet potatoes, camot, camotes, right? Yeah. Huele a camote endulzado. Candy yams, camotes, cooked in piloncillo. Yeah, this is, but everybody has their own flavor. I can already smell. Really nice and tender, nice, nice texture. Dissolves in your mouth. Very tasty. Está muy rico. No está dulce. Está perfectamente cocinado. Muy bueno. Can we do soul food again? Yeah. <laughs> that dish is is is, is perfect. Um, I wouldn't add anything. I usually I add stuff to to my food. Like, and my wife gets mad. She's like, "Why do you have to this? Perfect the way it is. Maybe glass." <laughs> your wife gets mad. Hey. I'm glad they cut out what he said because his wife would have been mad if he said something and she didn't like it and yeah, and, and it was on video. So good you know, kudos to the editors. It looks pretty good. It looks like a it looks like a custard. It looks like there's breading up top, you know. Uh so I don't know that there's yeah, there's probably bread, right? Up, up top. Um and I like the color of it. It's got the the brownness to it, so so I like it. Ah, man, the banana flavor. Banana just makes everything better. Wow, oh, this is so good. I will have this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I like it. <laughs> muy rico, muy sabroso, oh, he started eh? speaking <laughs> English. He liked it so good, he started speaking English. He said, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I like it. Está muy rico, muy sabroso, eh? Lo recomiendo. Did I say I like this? Because I really like it. Hey, man. <clears throat> Look, food all around the world is something tasty that you can get into. It's something tasty everywhere, all on all on the globe. 
you just got to find the right delicacies. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to Jamaican food, I'm I'm all about the oxtails and rice and peas. Comes to American food, burgers, wings. When it comes to Italian, the pastas and the pizza. Uh, when it comes to African food, the 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 benku, the ikruma froy, the peanut soup and rice. But look, it's a lot of stuff to choose from. All of, if you if anybody says there's nothing to eat on Earth, they have lied. Okay. They have lied. There's plenty of things to munch on. Um, <clears throat> and, and and the funny thing is, like, I was going to do a food tour, an eating tour um, with the homie Willie years ago. Years ago, like, I was, we were planning to do a food tour and go all around, you know, all around the States. But that didn't happen. But it could happen in the future. So stay tuned, maybe. I mean, we we did talk about it recently, and he was like, "Yeah, I mean, he still would want to do it, but we just got to time it right, and we just got to have the budget for it." So, um, if y'all want to see that, you know, I guess we'll you know come up with it sometime. I don't know when, but we gotta have a budget for it. It said, "Yet TV, peace, take care, Godspeed."